here is an update to Mad Dog that both Jesse and Garrett each tried to make, I think they tried to make their own versions. I have no idea if like they worked together and stuff. Probably not likely, so I'm just going to credit both of them. And yeah, it is my truck too, so I deserve much more to work since it is my paint and stuff. And of course, I tried to do this video yesterday, but fucking Riggs and Rogers was being a dick and wouldn't load whatsoever. And better off being the difference from last time, which I debuted back in April, May last year, it has the 2009 Freestyle Championship, I mean champion nameplate, and also Jesse, the f tail is into the, um, tail, um, tail is literally into the tailgate, that's so funny, I'm pretty sure it needs to be down more, matter of fact, I probably should go look at a picture to see if it, if it's behind or or in front of the tailgate itself, I can't quite remember, so that probably needs to be fixed. And also, a little bit different from last time is the truck handles um landed stuff more you know, in the air and stuff more realistic. Because remember last time I debuted, the truck would like be like really slow in the air. It was like on point four, but I was playing on point three nine. As you can see, I got all Monsters Eve back after all these years. Thank you, Amphi, for sending the links. And I also found out Garrett made the um. 0.39 version, quite impressive with the um, with the um, conversion. So it handles the jumps much more realistically instead of like floating in the air when coming out like bouncing around like really slow in the air. It was really ridiculous. And I don't know why every time I reload a truck, if you notice barely the back of the truck like really twitching stuff like that. And usually it happens if something's like broken on the truck, like it take a violent hit on the roof or something like that. But respawn would fix it. But I've respawned like six times. My sets I upload the game and it has not gone away and that's as soon as the game me truck load before I even did anything So watch the jumper here on the triple see what I mean It's like so realistic like height I mean getting the height and then coming down like at the normal speed and stuff like that and how it handled um Landing right there and also too big difference the donuts remember because last time it would not get donuts at all It was always going to the turn really slow and it would lift up really quickly and prevent a donut from happening So that's a nice upgrade good job on that Jesse as mad dog not only does Mad Dog look a lot closer to what normally does, it actually looks probably even better now with like the um drool on the side than um Mad Dog and MTWS looks like. I don't think it has it, so it might actually have been a little bit of an upgrade. So that's nice to see as I get the camera reorganized, but the um numpad's being a dick. There we go. All right, time to go now for the double right here. I gotta be careful too because I was doing some practice, me practice freestyling on here to see how the truck um was any different from its original version and the obstacles here are quite grabby from what I which I did not remember about I think I'm in second gear and oh, I wasn't first gear as I go now for the box I mean the actually I was about to say bus stack I mean van stack but that's um just a stack of cars I got to second gear slap wheelies I'm gonna go over and still flipping like cartwheeling almost as I got the save yeah there we go much better distance and it's going to go for that ramp that was in Jacksonville 2010 as I got caught off the side. Here we go. Take Oh, oh my goodness. Car rolling, I mean, barrel rolling all over the place. How many rotations did I did? Like over half a dozen at least. My goodness, that was a lot. All right, so now back for the double right here. Got some big air off of it. Oh, it sounds like I stalled right there. As I'm on two wheels, held on for the save. Yeah, this, mad, this version of Mad Dog handles much better. And I mean, let's see. It's Mad Dog... MTWS Pokemon Tyrannosaurus, which I, n I don't think I've ever gotten yet. So that's three of the MTWS trucks I believe that have been made for rigs and rods. As I tried to front flip over the cars, but I kind of did right there. Although it was not clean whatsoever, the rotation stuff was clean. The air didn't even touch any of the cars, pretty much. And coming down into another slap, really down the Jacksonville jump. Man, it would be interesting for one day to maybe get all the MTWS trucks on rigs and rods, but that will probably never happen until we get like some sort of converter way to um, transfer all the MT me um, trucks from MTM2 to rigs and rods with like detection stuff. Because I've done that before as I've gone over. I've actually um <clears throat> trans mean configured I mean um um converted um MTM2 bin models into um. 3DS files, I think it was called, and they actually were load up the um on um Blender. When I used to have it a long time ago. I actually had fucking work and such, and I actually had um MT. Ooh, it took a hard hit right there. I actually had MTWS transferred over, and it loaded up really well. It was just the problem was it wouldn't load the damn textures. It, it never, it always um lost the texture coordinations on the um models, so you had to remap them. And of course, I have no idea how to do that, especially for God forbid on Blender. For God's sake, that thing never worked for me whatsoever. 
So that pretty much went nowhere. But that thing did help me transfer some, um, um, trucks over to, um, I mean, not trucks, um, obstacles over to, um, rigs and rods. Like, if y'all remember the, um, the, um, backflip semi-trailer from World Finals 14 that had, like, the, um, step up on the one side and the ramp on the other that I've used in MTWS before, that was from rigs and rods, too, from World Finals 14. That was a pain in the ass because... Oh my god, when I put him on Riggs of Raw, you know, I'm beat, I'm Ben Ed when I had the 3DS model of the Sandwich Stadium track for it. It was humongous. It, like, took forever to load. I had to resize it numerous times. It was, like, 50,000, like, faces and stuff like that. It was absolutely ridiculous. And it took a couple days for me to identify where the trailer was at and not to delete all the faces for it. That was really ridiculous. But, of course, that's nice to get at least a tr obstacle out of it. And I think I actually um, got um, my version... Because I made Monster Energy before on um, MTM2. I think I got... Um, and Hot Wheels, too, I think. The um, paint from um, Hot Wheels and Monster Energy from Riggs of Rods, too. So, that was also a good job on my part. As I got a nice corkscrew right there in the... Bit, well, um, pirouette on the front wheels. I got the save right there. Gonna go for the backside of the st bus stack. I mean, the double. The sideways hit as I saved it. Now I'm gonna go line up. I pre. I know one thing I didn't hit, and I would be amiss if I did not hit this. <laughs> I think you all know exactly what I'm gonna do. Thank you, Cam McQueen, for giving us idea to us. To ah, damn it, wouldn't get the backflip. Shit, I'm a maybe I gotta hit it harder. Cause you all remember that's where Cam got the first ever backflip in um freestyle in Jacksonville that year. Man, that was so cool. See if I hit that time harder. And almost got the rotation, but still couldn't quite get it, unfortunately. <laughs> As now gonna go line up. Back for it. Wasn't trying to do a don't me on backflip. Try to go cross right side on two wheels right there. As I got the save. As now lines up for the backside. Oh god, talk about getting hit hard right there. Got shoved right back. Alright, so now swinging it around. Maybe didn't go for the cars right here. Maybe get a nice slap wheelie. Kind of crooked, though. There we go. I'm gonna beautifully land on the cars. I did a shower of sparks everywhere. And it's gonna hit the cars right here. Once again, nose dive. Here we go. Another front flip. Oh, corkscrewed it pretty much instead. Nose dives it into a two wheels. Ah, I couldn't save it right there. As respawn. As now gonna go right for the bus stack. Nice sky wheelie right there. And I gotta take a hard hit into the cars. As now gonna hit the bus stack right here sideways if I line up for it perfectly. There we go. And I also noticed on the one side as I'm gonna go over right there. I had the traction, but hey, I got back on the rim, so one the heck save there. That was a nice save right there. I just noticed this too. It doesn't look like it fits quite properly on the frame right there. I mean it doesn't appear, but this side, the frame, like, appears completely underneath, but this side doesn't really as much. I wonder... Oh, okay, okay, now it's finally appearing. Must have been the shadows. I, the, um, shadow of the sun blocking me, so I couldn't see it before. Because you can't really see it on this side, whereas over here, it's much more noticeable. But it does seem to be underneath it correctly. And it's going to nosedive it off the jammer. And a second gear slap! Really is up! Um, pirouetting all over the place right there. Pogo in it, and on the rims... As I got the save down the speedway. As got into another slap wheelie. Wait for the right moment. Into second gear now. As got that slap wheelie still continuing on as I overshot right there. Man, that came by so fast I didn't see it coming. Normally I would have seen um um whiplash of um the rear end right there, but didn't see it that time. It went by so fast. Gotta get some nice air. Hey, maybe if I get lined up perfect, ah, I could get. Maybe I could still can. Ah, oh, nope. I tried to maybe get like a front flip going once again over the cars, but it wouldn't do it. Second gear wheelie once again. That was nice. The raw power of a monster truck just forcing itself up into that wheelie. As I have a difficult time to turn with the second gear still on. All right, but turn off second gear. And it's gonna hit the setup right there. Spun around the air, takes a hard hit. And it's going to save it right here, thanks to momentum and gravity, as I overshot and screwed up that save. Landed, Hey, I got shot to save it again, too. As, ah, I couldn't save it right there. Alright, so, going to go for that backside to step up. Nice, oh, nice sky wheel right there. Takes a hard bounce, nose dives it right there. 
And now they go line up. As I was trying to line up for the Jacksonville jump as I'm on two wheels. Remember, never turn sharp going up the speedway. That's never going to go good. As I'm in second gear, going to go right for the Jacksonville Oh, I got caught by it. So that's why I couldn't clear it. As took a hard hit on the roof. As I have a shot and I got the save right there. Man, that sucked. Maybe I should not hit it in second gear. Maybe I have a better shot. But I would think I need second gear to clear it as I barrel rolled it. Up, stalled. There we go. Fire back up. Hits the cars. Hey, perfect. Slab wheelie right there. And I couldn't keep it up. As now turning around into a beautiful cyclone right here. Ah, it's nice to see Mando again. I got to do another MTW eventually. Me yeah, eventually. I actually had... I have one planned since last May. I just haven't gotten around to do it yet. Up stalled again. It has a little interesting twist to it, which I hope to debut eventually, but I got to work on some of the trucks before I can do it. Nice skyway right there. Oh, yeah, too. I got to eventually get back to work on the um, highlights videos of the 2000s. Eh, I'm going to go over right there off the cars. I got to get back to work on the highlights videos from the previous events. I still got to do the 2015 Runners-Up Cup, the 2015 Championship. And then the 2017 Las Vegas events, as I didn't save the footage for 2016 Louisville, unfortunately. So I can't do an MTWS event until those um, highlight videos are done because I got back up all the saves. I mean, the f runs on the external hard drive. That thing is so backed up full of runs, it takes like 70% of the hard drive space. So I got to get rid of them eventually. I mean, a lot because I still have the Oakland and Atlanta um, highlights, I mean, freestyle runs. That's from over two years ago, for God's sake. I got to take them off eventually. Almost cleared the step up right there off the side. Going to hit the step up right here and corkscrewed it. Well, that was interesting how it landed. <laughs> Look at that. How about that? And it looks like it's going to stay perfectly in place. I wasn't going to end the run yet very soon, but I think I'm going to end it right there the way it finished right there. Now, that's funny looking. So here's in the second ver um, update to... um. Mad Dog. Yeah, it's a lot better. It has the 2009 Freestyle Championship nameplate on the back. The um, truck handles, jumps and stuff, and turns are a lot better, although I'm pretty sure the tailgate is out of place, but I can't check out, go off screen in order for me to check it. So it was nice doing the, driving this truck again. Good job, Jesse, for originally making it in the first place. And of course, don't, never got to see Garrett's version. I have no idea if, if he did his own. I mean, I worked on um, like a separate version if they worked together. Probably not, but Hey, so far, Jesse made the better version at the moment. The only thing left I can think of that needs to be fixed is maybe the um, tail and stuff. So, hopefully we'll get to another debut soon for both Mad Dog and then another truck soon.